fox and squirrel help out. Ruth Oe. One day, something landed on Fox's head. Plop! There is something on your head, said Squirrel. Squeak, squeak! What? said Fox. What is on my head? Something loud, said Squirrel, and squeaky, but mostly loud. Squeak, squeak, squeak! The squeaky thing stayed on Fox's head. Ooh, said Fox. Squeak is so soft and warm. Squeak and loud, said Squirrel. Maybe Squeak is hungry, said Fox. Squeak. So Squirrel found food for Squeak. But Squeak did not want Squirrel's food. Hmm," said Squirrel. "Squeak, squeak, squeak." Maybe Squeak is bored," said Fox. "Squeak, squeak, squeak." How can Squeak be bored?" said Squirrel. "I am so exciting." Look," said Fox. Squeak likes when I rock back and forth, back and forth, while standing on one foot. Hmm," said Squirrel. And hop like a rabbit," said Fox. "But you are not a rabbit," said Squirrel. "I do not think Squeak knows that," said Fox. Let's run and jump and play together," said Squirrel. "Not now," said Fox. "I think Squeak needs a nap." Pant, pant. Well, I am an excellent napper," said Squirrel. But Squirrel did not nap, and neither did Squeak. Ooh," said Squirrel. "Squeak is so soft and warm." Zzz, zzz, squeak. Who is that? Squeak looked happy," said Fox. "Bye, bye, Squeak," said Squirrel. "You will be missed." Ribbit. The end.